What's up everyone out there in Dude Nation, MonkeyDude22 here for another Xbox support tip. In this video today, I'm going to show you how to make changes to your Xbox Live or other subscriptions, including how to stop auto-renew right on your Xbox One console. So without further ado, let's get right into it. On the console, what you're going to want to do is scroll left to open up the guide, and go down to Settings. From Settings, select All Settings. And then you want to go under Subscriptions under the Account Settings. From the subscription settings, you're going to see all of the different kinds of options you have for subscriptions. So right here we can see my Xbox Live subscription, Groove Music, EA Access, and my Office 365 subscription. Let's say, for example, we wanted to go ahead and cancel EA Access. So what you want to do, you want to hover over EA Access and press A. And you can either change how you pay, so you can change your payment method. You can turn off Auto Renew or you can cancel it by hitting A right here. You'll have a confirmation screen here that's going to say, are you sure you'll lose access to your EA Access subscription on whenever that end date is when they don't automatically renew it. So you can confirm the cancellation here, or you can don't cancel to back out. And now let's take a look at my Xbox Live subscription here. Now this is paid with a prepaid card. Um, so if I try to cancel it, I'm not going to necessarily have the option, but the steps are the same. So let's go ahead and press A on the Xbox Live and you'll see payment and billing. I have the option to cancel here. I can also extend, uh, see the free games for this month or the discounts. Uh, but if I hit A on cancel here, because I'm using a prepaid card, what it's gonna tell me here is that I'm not able to cancel it here because it's already paid for. Uh, but if I still want to cancel, I can contact customer support at support.microsoft.com slash contact us. Uh, if you did use a credit card or debit card or other payment method for Xbox Live, you would also have the same options as we did with the EA Access, where you can cancel and you can potentially get a partial refund uh, if that's available for you. And that's it for this video. I hope this video was helpful in showing you how to manage your subscriptions on the Xbox console. If you didn't find success with this video, please drop a thumbs up on this video and share it with your friends who may also be having the same issue. If you'd like to see more content like this though, consider subscribing to my channel. I post new content weekly, if not daily, and I cover all sorts of Xbox support issues as well as how to's and let's plays and other content. And I'd love to have you along for the ride. Thanks again for watching everyone. I'm MonkeyDo22 and I'll see you in the next video.